Today we're having a look at the Marvel Legends Abomination Wave build a figure Abomination, duh. But with that being said, this is a reshoot. I forgot to do something the first time, so figured give it a second shot, do it right. Um, not Kubrick or anything, but you know, just figured it'd be a little better just to have it all in one rather than tack a clip on to the already existing review. But yeah, this dude's pretty big. Um. I mean, holding him right there, he's, I'm not sure if he's juggernaut big, but he's bigger than Agent Venom, or Space Venom, and, oh, well, I think he is, he feels like Rhino size, um, which Rhino was a pretty big figure, I think Rhino may have a little bit more bulk in the arms, maybe, I'm not sure, it's hard to tell with the scales, but. Yeah, he definitely has a load of sculpt on him, and if you wanted to, you could probably make a sick Killer Croc out of this guy. you just have to get him uh, normal feet, and maybe uh, add some sculpt down here to give him shorts. But other than that, you got, essentially, a killer, no pun intended, Croc body, um, just waiting to be turned into a suitable Killer Croc. That's probably about the same size as Bane, not maybe a little shorter, but the yeah, articulation on this dude is pretty standard. His head will look up and down. It is a little squishy. He does have that going on, but oh well. His ab crunch, move one click forward, back into place, and then one click back. He's got a waist swivel. His shoulders will move out, back in, forward, back. You can probably get a 360 out of that. He's got a bicep swivel, single joint at the elbow, and a uh, hinge at the wrist with a swivel on top of that. His hips will move out about that far. Not too bad for a big guy. I think that's even better in Pizza Spidey, which is insane. Um, he's got a thigh swivel, single joint at the knee. Not the best looking knee joint, that's why I think this is the Rhino Bath. Solely because he had the same problem. But nonetheless. Uh, and then he also has a hinge at the foot with a uh, rocker joint. So, he's got the standard, bulkier Marvel Legends fare. It's your typical Legends style posability. Pretty uh, straightforward stuff, but part I forgot to put in the first recording of this was the comparison to the rest of the wave. Um, yeah, bear with me here. My room's a mess, so take me a second to find them all. Luckily, I shoved them all into one corner. Look at that. Um, So starting off, we have um, the Scarlet Witch, which is pretty nice. Uh, we got the uh, Secret War cap. It's kind of a run of the mill, but I like the colors on it. Uh, Captain Britain, who next to the build a figure doesn't want to stand. Oh uh, no, his feet are too far back. Let's see if I can fix it there. I really got force on him. It's Captain Britain there. Make sure this thing is still recording. And then 
last but not least, we have the eel. Let's see if I can get him in there. We have this turd. No, we'll put him in front of Britain. And the eel. And the sleeper hit, who I do have the head swap on. Iron Skull. He needs to stand. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a problem when you get a whole bunch of these out. So, my favorites. Definitely not this turd, because he should have been crossbones. Sorry, Cap, but you gotta go too. And, I don't know, I actually do like the eel figure quite a bit. I don't know why. He's just a sleeper hit for me, I suppose. I would say this is the best of the wave. You got Captain Britain, who was in need of an update. You got the Iron Skull, who's just a nifty little figure. And you, of course, have um, the uh, movie Scarlet Witch. So I would say... Let's put Britain over here, so we up this void. Trying to turn his head. I would say this is the best of the wave. Obviously the build a figure is going to be in there. That's just obvious. But I'd have to say my favorite of the regular figures is Iron Skull. <laughs> I thought I was going to hate it, but I wound up loving this thing once I popped this head on it. I mean, he just looks awesome. So, that's, uh, that's all i got to say for this wave. And for this figure, this is obviously the reason you buy the wave. No doubt, he is a really good abomination and doesn't have that small QC error, or problem I should say, that the Toy Biz one has. Of course, I'm talking about the Onslaught Wave 1, that Hulk Classics one I don't think anyone even considers because it's too dang small. But you got this one or the Marvel Select at this point because that old Toy Biz one is considered dated compared to this one here. So with that being said, I'm going to give this guy a straight up 10 out of 10. I don't have any problems with it. I wish the head was made a little bit differently, like made out of a harder plastic. Maybe like the arms or the hands maybe because you can't really squish the hands. But nonetheless, he's a cool figure and I highly recommend you pick one up. Whether it's this one or the Comic-Con one, I think they're both equally as good. Well, that being said, hope you enjoyed this review and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.